Hello everyone, in this video I will try to activate Windows 11 in a rather strange way. Before Windows 11's beta leak, I presumed that Microsoft's newest release would follow a free-for-all marketing strategy. But I was wrong, even though there were grounds to that assumption. All in all, the release was overhyped and the activation mechanism remained intact. And there's not much talk about the activation mechanism itself. So in this episode I'd like to clear up the confusion and find out in what weird ways can you activate Windows 11? We all know we can purchase a physical or a digital copy of Windows 11 in retail stores. That's straightforward enough. But what happens if we go back in time? Sure enough, you can also activate Windows 11 with a Windows 10 key. Since Windows 11 is just a feature update to the latter, and everybody would just go nuts to spend another few hundred bucks to buy a Windows 11 DLC. <laughs> And, and there are a couple YouTube videos showing off Windows 11 activation using a valid Windows 10 key. So that's also confirmed possible. Now Windows 8 and 8.1, can you use their keys? The answer is likely yes, since Windows 10 is a successor of these guys and you could activate Windows 10 using these keys. Uh, but I have no way to check that since I failed to purchase a copy of Windows 8 before sanctions, unfortunately. However, I have an even crazier idea. What if we use a Windows 7 key to activate Windows 11? I do have a physical copy of Windows 7, we'll definitely try that out, but first, let's go even deeper. What about Windows XP, the fan favorite all-time classic? Or Windows 98, one of the first systems to adopt the 25-digit product key that's also used in Windows 11? I think it's just right to start with Windows 98. I highly doubt it'll work because the algorithms likely changed over time and the product keys for it are widely available now that it's abandonware, but you never know. So first of all, let's go ahead and install Windows 11. We need something to activate. I'm gonna quickly revert the snapshot and skip the install port because that's besides the point. Ah yes, while we are at the Obby, I'm gonna show you a little trick how to create an offline account in Windows 11 22H2. So once you press set up a personal account, it asks you to sign in with a Microsoft account and doesn't give you any other choice. So to create a local account, you can no longer select it in sign in options, unfortunately. So what do you want to do? Just set up for personal use next, sign in, go ahead and type in a at a.com, uh, any password 123 will do, and it just errors with an oops something went wrong because this is a dummy blocked account from Microsoft and now you can use the device with a local account, that's great. And with that, let's continue. Beautiful, we are done. Here's the clean Windows 11 install. And as usual, I'm assuming, yes, we need to activate Windows before we can personalize our computer. And uh, activate now. Windows has reported that no product key was found on your device. Let's fix that. And as promised, let's try cheating and using a Windows 98 key here. Uh, as it goes right here. Click next. Okay, the product key did not work. Let's try another one. From WinWorld PC. Okay. Neither of these worked, um, and I expected that. The system is way too old and abandoned. So it's just it's really just cheating. So they really thought it through. Now let's try Windows XP. I've been actually looking forward to that moment, not going to lie. Um, since I'm using a real copy of Windows XP here, uh, and I'm keeping that key to myself, I paid for like 300 bucks. <laughs> I, I'll blur it here. Don't mind me. Imagine it does work though, it would be really funny 
considering its age, but it would also be logical. So I'm taking out the folder. Here's the product key on the back. Let's type it in. confirm it's right yep it's exactly as on the folder it's thinking no way it's going to work <laughs> okay the, the product key did not work but it takes far longer to parse I wonder why that's an interesting result I feel like it's comparing the product key with uh, every single in their database and uh, even though it's finding the product key that I've pasted here from Windows XP, it just denies me because it's way too old. I feel like that's, that's why it's taking that long. <laughs> Interesting. Now let's try Windows 7. Now let's go ahead and unbox Windows 7. Um, as promised, here is the physical copy. I purchased two of them for $50 each from eBay back in the day, and I'm going to sacrifice one of them for this video. I'm not entirely sure, has it been used or not, because you see, you can kind of peek inside if you if you wanted to. You can just, you can just pressure the sides of the box, or well, not a box, cardboard list and, and see inside but let's go ahead and try it anyway so unboxing this midair will be <laughs> proven difficult but still cutting towards my finger here don't do that okay there you go can already see the product key here. Here's how it looks. That's the disc for Windows 7 Ultimate. Not sure how to take it out yet. But we will not be needing the disc. We will only need the product key here. All right, I have a physical product key of Windows 7 in my hands and let's type it in. Go ahead and click next, uh, loading. Okay, so activate Windows. By activating Windows, you get the best experience free from interruptions. Now, I'm not sure if that key is gonna get used up or I might use it in the future for Windows 7 setups, but I'm going to sacrifice one of the cardboard pieces I've got here, as I promised, so let's go ahead and click activate and see if we have successfully activated Windows 11 Pro by using a Windows 7 Ultimate product key. Windows has activated. We've activated this copy of Windows. And there you have it. We have just successfully activated Windows 11 with a product key of a 13 year old system called Windows 7. Do I think this is great? Absolutely, this is just awesome. This is just a blast from the past, in my opinion. But is this logical from Microsoft? I also think so. That's all because Microsoft, back in the day, back in 2016, pushed Windows 7 users to update to Windows 10 uh, when the end of support for Windows 7 happened. Uh, the extended support still remained until 2020, January 14, 2020. But I believe what they did to Windows 7 users, they upgraded them for free using the activation keys that were already present from Windows 7. And uh, this transferred onto Windows 11. And this is why we can activate Windows 11 with a 13-year-old key. So if you purchased Windows 7 
back in the day and used it and switched to Linux, you can uh, freely switch back to Windows 11, even though I do not recommend it, switch to Windows 10, <laughs> if, you, if you'd like to switch back to Windows, and use your key stored somewhere in your closet. As a final verdict, I'll add a few words. That also proves you can use any Windows 8 key to activate Windows 11, which I speculated about at the beginning of the video. I'm a little sad that Windows XP key got rejected, even though it was a valid one and it put up a fight during the activation. It does feel like Microsoft just artificially disabled Windows XP keys from activating Windows 11. Uh, but despite all that, I believe this experiment proved one more time that Windows 7 still lives on and in the ways you haven't thought existed. All in all, thanks for watching, rate the video, let me know what you think about it, and most importantly, take care.